Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. No, you aren't mistaken. The title of this video is Ink Acquiring Minds for Sale. No, I'm not selling my YouTube channel, but I am selling some pens. A few weeks ago, a viewer asked me if I sold any of my pens, and if so, where? I mentioned that I had sold some pens locally and also on the Facebook marketplace. But I don't have a web page of pens for sale like my colleague north of me, Stephen Brown, does. But that got me thinking. Perhaps I should use the publicity of my channel to advertise the pens I have for sale. So I went through my collection and I called out some of the pens that are either duplicates or pens that I cannot use anymore. And then I created an Ink Acquiring Minds Facebook page that has a storefront for selling those pens. And in today's video, I'm going to highlight some of those pens right now. So what I'd like to do today is briefly highlight some of the pens that I have for sale on my Ink Acquiring Minds Facebook page. The link to that page is in the description below. Please feel free to like the page. Just click on the word store right here on the front page to get to the items for sale. And let's look at some of them right now. Many of them have only been used during the review and then cleaned and stored. All prices are in Canadian dollars and I've set North American shipping at $25. If you live outside of North America, just contact me for a shipping quote. I've set most of the prices at 25% off what I paid for them and there are no pens in the store that I didn't buy brand new. Let's take a look at a few of the top pens first, and then I'll line up groups of others. First, this is my Tobaldi Bononia Bora Bora. I bought it from Apple Bomb, and the acrylic is unbelievably gorgeous. I had the steel broad nib custom ground into an architect by Jack Hernandez, and it writes like a dream. This is a cartridge converter pen, and it comes with the original box and documentation. Next we have my first Narwhal. I bought it at Reed Stationers here in Calgary. You may have seen my video review of the new Dragonette Sapphire, which I'm keeping, so this one will go unused. It's a 2021 medium steel nib, a beautiful piston filler, and comes with the original box and documentation as well as the wrench. And this is a 2021 Wingsong 628. It's a 14 karat gold nib. This was my first gold nib Chinese fountain pen and the 14 karat gold nib is super bouncy and even though it's marked medium writes a relatively fine line. It's a cartridge converter and comes with the original flip top box and a 2021 Le Bain skeleton. I bought this for Halloween last year to show off the Pelican golden barrel ink that I had bought. It has the original box and documents and has a broad Le Bain steel two-tone nib. And that's rose gold, folks, right there. Beautiful pen. And this is a 2020 Conklin Duraflex. It's not actually a Duraflex. It says Duraflex on it. And it came with a Duraflex nib, but I didn't like the nib at all. It wasn't very good, but I sold it to a viewer. But I also bought an extra nib for it and it's all in black and this is a medium Conklin steel nib and it writes just fine. Well, it writes medium. And this comes with the box and all the documentation. This was a limited edition uh, Goulet pen that I bought from Goulet. And now I'll show some groups of brands to speed things along. And from left to right, we have a Wingsong 629 and this is a piston filler with a number six size medium steel Wingsung nib. A Pen BBS 323 in Peacock, unusual rare color with a fine steel nib. Another 323 from Pen BBS. This is in the black tortoise and you might be able to tell that it's semi-translucent and looks a little purple when you look through it. And it has a fine Pen BBS steel nib and a Pen BBS 499 with a number six size gold toned fine nib. There's a cartridge converter and the 323s can be eyedropper, but they come with converters. And some Jinhaos. This is a Jinhao 100 Centennial in cracked blue ice and ivory finials and section. 
and comes with a fine number six size Jinhao steel nib. And another Jinhao 100 Centennial, only this is the Mini. It has a wood grain kind of wood finish right here and a black top with gold hardware and a number five size Jinhao medium nib and a Jinhao 997 black section gold heavy metal pen number five size fine Jinhao steel nib all three of these pens are cartridge converters a Hongdian 100 Centennial this is a piston filler and it has a number six size steel Hongdian fine nib a Hongdian 960 this is a cartridge converter and it has a number six size Hongdian fine nib a Hongdian 1845 and this has a Hongdian number six size fine nib and this is a cartridge converter this is a heavy metal pen so is this actually and the Hongdian N6 piston filler with the gold cap and this one has a Kaigalu nib on it with a sort of an alligator pattern on it and it is an architect style now I can put the original Hongdian on there if you like it's a fine nib Hongdian nib like the others if you want this nib with the pen I will sell it like that for the same price Moonman pens this is a Moonman with a tin case presentation box this is the s5 and it comes with an extra nib an eyedropper and let's take a look at the pen here it is an eyedropper pen with a little jewel roll stop really interesting section and a small number five size stub type nib the other nib that comes with it is a fine moon man nib so you your choice they just screw in and out comes with both nibs and of course this pen also posts as an eyedropper it's a very interesting clear acrylic fountain pen in the tin box with the instructions and the moon man t5 piston filler has an ink window and this has a number six size medium generic nib now this is the nib that came with it when i bought the pen new uh, from an online seller this was the only way to get a medium nib onto the uh, moon man t5 at the time and a moon man m600 s in amber this is a cartridge converter and it has number six size fine moon man steel nib it has beautiful acrylic and the moon man c3 this is a combination pen it can be uh, converter because it comes with the converter or take cartridges uh, but you can also eyedropper the pen by taking that converter out of there it already has the silicone o-ring on it and it has a number five size moon man fine nib there's no clip but there is a small roll stop on it and just a couple more this is a fully when 017 it is the blue danube color which i just think is fabulous i love this pen it has a medium fully wind steel nib which writes beautifully it's a cartridge converter uh, but i got another one as a gift from doodlebud uh, with a, a custom curse of italic nib and ground for me so if i'm gonna have two i'll keep the doodlebud and sell the danube even though it breaks my heart and then there's this Admok, A-D-M-O-K, and it's an interesting blue acrylic uh, torpedo-shaped fountain pen, and it has a number five size Schmidt steel nib, and is a cartridge converter. And I think this color is called Deep Blue Sea or something like that. And there you have it. Please go to my Facebook page, Ink Quiring Minds. That's Ink Quiring Minds, and like the page. Be sure to check out the store to browse these pens and others that I add from time to time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications 
whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot pens, as I'm now an affiliate of the online store. And when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comments section, and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you so much for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this. <laughs>